Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all of the praise and the glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Yahushai, and double honor to the apostles of the Great Millstone, as well as giving the salutations thereof to the Akim out that is worldwide, forwarding the ministry and exhorting Yahweh Shai and, his, and speaking of Yahweh Shai. Um, <clears throat> you know, I want to say Shalom to the brothers on the side that support what we do and what we say and as well as the sisters and you know Yahweh Shai gave us all of, of the brotherhood and as well as he gave us this knowledge and his understanding you know but anyway with, with that being said I want to mix the truth with, with what we see going on here um, that, that has happened <clears throat> I believe it was yesterday where the royals have found themselves in a particular situation where um, the people of Jamaica just didn't want to see them come down to their country and when they got down there they were welcomed with a bunch of protests protesting that they go back to England because basically the royals represent the downfall of, of the people that are in Jamaica and as well as obviously Jake worldwide overall and I mean I mean I, I do remember um couple of years back i think maybe about five years ago maybe four five maybe four or five years ago um they went down there before and um the people basically told them where to go but more so now you have people that are in jamaica protesting saying that look don't even come back like what are you doing here you know so we're in that time man where jig is starting to really smell the coffee as the saying goes and um and, and, and as well as they also remember, they also remember um, how they treated uh, Meghan Markle, which really Meghan Markle wasn't no um, Israelite woman anyway. All right. And and, and being that, um, if I'm correct, Prince Harry, his name is, he's not even in the mix with the royal family anymore. All right. And um, the thing with Harry, I believe Harry was a jerk. Because when he was in Jamaica at one time, he was getting down with the people. When that when that music was playing, you know, he was he, he was pretty much in his own zone. He was dancing, man. He was you know he was he was showing you the moves, <laughs> right? So I think when they when they kicked Harry out, man, it, it just took away the flavor from the royal family. You know, because normally they just they don't have no flavor anyway, because they they're um, the Edomites, the Edomites. You know, so. Now, the, the, the vibe is just very bland. There's nothing there. Harry basically brought the, the, the flavor to the mix. Made them look good, I would say. You know, but um, yeah. So that's all I got to say on that. And I just want to read this right here. This precepts of Lakia. Isaiah 32, verse 5. The vile person shall be no more called liberal, nor the churl said to be bountiful. Now, the word liberal, we know that that word means free, but it means something else in the Hebrew. And the word is um, nadab, which means to incline, willing, noble, um, generous, in sight, incline, willing, noble, princely, in rank. So we get the gist on that. So at once upon a time, the, the, the royals were considered um, generous people, noble. But in the eyes of the Jamaican people, and as well as Jig worldwide, Jig is seeing the truth that even through their nobility, that they're not noble. They just, they, you know, they just basically scum that found themselves in the positions of power, and that's really what Esau is. And I'll say the term again: scum. That's really what they are. You know, the Lord has given the earth in the hands of the wicked, and He covered the face of the judges thereof. And they say, "Who and where is He?" Right. So that's why they're in the position of power, really, because the Lord gave them the power, but the Lord is going to take the power from them. And, um, you know, this is a, a, another one of those great indications, I personally think, that Esau is at their end point because for centuries, our people have been brown nosing Esau's funky ass. You know, as, uh, <laughs> as Jig say in America. But now that that's no longer, um, like I said, it just spells the very end for the nation of Edom. All right, and they're starting to see the picture that these devils 
are nothing to 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 um to 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 worship, man. They're not people to worship or to acknowledge, and that they are not nobles. Um, Thessalonians uh, chapter two, excuse me, Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse eight. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And that's really what time we're living in. We're living in a time of Esau being exposed through the Israelites. We're, we're the ones that's basically bringing out that vibration that the so-called white man is nothing, and he's the devil, and he's all of these negative things put all into one, which is a fact. They represent every single negative thing. All right. And if the, and it works through show. So now the world is seeing. Or should I say, let me let me let me reiterate what I'm what I'm about to, what I was gonna say. Um now everybody that's of color, I would say, especially predominantly Jake, they're under that vibration of not really wanting to deal with Esau no more. Like they have this attitude of saying, fuck you, Esau, and, and that's right, because really the royal family as a whole represents white supremacy and as well as it represents the downfall of our people. So the people of Jamaica were, were correct when they said, look, don't even come, don't even come down here. When they got to the scene in Jamaica, they, they were welcomed with a bunch of protesters. And that's not a good look. You know, so um, we're at that point where Esau's at, at their end. No one's brown nosing this devil no more. I mean, you still got people there and there. That are brown nosing, but that's really because they don't know what's going on. But people that's really hip to what's going on um, among these nations, right? They're not brown nosing this devil anymore. Them days are done. So um, with that being said, I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and His Son. Exactly. Um, in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Arvakar, Kodash, and Wa Bad Babal. And with that, I sing Shalom.